Are we on? I guess we are. Hello there. Yes, I'm getting into my chair. <laughs> that wasn't so easy. Hello there. This is Granny Rocks, otherwise known as Beth Green, or Beth Green, otherwise known as Granny Rocks. <laughs> and uh, here we go. So uh, I'm Sweet Baby James, otherwise known as uh, James Maynard. And tonight, I'm going to be talking about when lying becomes a habit. Uh -oh. Why would I ever talk about that? A tale of our times. Truly. Lizzie said, yes, you're on. Yes, I know we're on. Thank you. And she says hello. Hello, 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 Lizzie. Lovely, lovely. Okay, so I'm so happy to be with you tonight. Uh, you know, with all the things that are going on in the world and in our nation, it's like, oh, my God, what do I talk about? And how do I talk about it in a way that's helpful? Huh? Jamie says, hello, beautiful people. That uh, would be us. Hello, Jamie. What a liar. Anyway, it takes one and all. It does. And Amy says hi, guys, and sends us <laughs> lots of hearts. So oh, it's so good to. Feel, I feel like I'm with the family, old mini. So um, I want to talk about when lying becomes a habit because, you know, it's an epidemic, isn't it? Oh, yeah. And it's not just an epidemic in our nation. I'm sure. I, I'm sure it's an epidemic everywhere. Ari says hi, Beth and James. Hi, hi Ari. Yes, like. I had nothing to do with the assassination of that, uh, uh, that uh, uh, what, are the, what do you call people who are reporters? Journalists. You know, journalists, yes. Had nothing to do with that. And uh, those people, that guy that we shot in Hong Kong, the, the Chinese government, just happened to be standing in the way of that stray bullet. Anyway, and Deb <laughs> says hi. Hi, Deb. Hi, oh, Deb. So anyway, there's so many lying from so many levels, but I really want to get into lying in general because, you know, of course, I, because it's me, I'm going to be asking you about your lying. By the way, <laughs> Monday we had this great show where we talked about doing and being, and we discovered that almost none of us could figure out anything about wh who, who we be or what we would even want to be because Everything that we talked about ended up being a doing, like e even being kind really is like being kind to others. Anyway, it was fascinating, and I hope you guys thought about that. I did. I thought about it, and uh, I came out of it with like, uh, 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 I don't know, B, B, what is being? So I'm not even going to talk about that time because <laughs> to I'm, not to I feel too inspired by the current events to talk about lying. So as children, see, you know, we're going to start from the beginning, right? Instead of starting from the top, we start from the bottom. Sure. We lie. Lots of us lie. Not everybody, of course, but lots of us lie. It's like, he started, she started, she started, he started, right? Yep. It's mine. No, it's it. Anyway, what are we doing? Did I say Sweet Baby James is going to introduce uh, you to our show? No, you did I not. I did not do that. Wait. Wait. Don't yeah. go away. In, in case you hadn't already guessed, <laughs> you're on Granny Rocks Our World, <laughs> otherwise known as Grow, where Granny rocks us with her wisdom, her wit, and her uncommon sense every Monday and Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. Pacific. Take it away, Granny. Thank you. And that's no lie. And Todd that's said the hi there. <laughs> so anyway, so when we're children, so when you look at it, why are we lying? We are lying, uh, you know, two general categories of reasons for lying. One is to avoid punishment, and the other is to gain favor, or both, right? Mm -hmm. The intermingling sure. of avoiding punishment. And exaggeration and is included in that Exaggeration. Line. I was going to talk about oh, exaggeration okay. Okay. later, you, but right. you got ahead of me. It's, yes, it is a, a non-truth. So, so the kids, they don't want to be punished by the parents or by the older kid or whoever or the teacher or something. So, so the obviously lies and blame are very interconnected because if, uh, if somebody chopped down the cherry tree or if the cherry tree has been chopped down, we have to assume somebody did it, not a bear. <laughs> so, you know, it starts out with reality, and then we have to find someone to blame so that we don't get punished. So it would be, yeah. all right. So we start lying. Or we start lying because we want our mothers to favor us, or our fathers to favor us, or our teachers to favor us, or something like that. So now we have very blatant lies like, oh, I did not uh, chop down that uh, cherry tree. Um, 
But then we have the semi-lies. Now, for example, let's say you're at, uh, we're still at the kid phase, right? Island says, hi, oh, we're glad to see you. Uh, and Todd says, hi there. Well. I already said hi to Todd. Oh. Thank you. But I, you were busy. So. Uh, yes. So anyway, let's say the parents come in and a lot of times they don't ask who started it. They just are going to punish everybody. But some parents they say, okay, who started this? And then you say, he did. He hit me first. Well, maybe that's all some lie. What I mean by that is maybe he hit you first, but maybe you poked him before he hit you. Uh -huh. Or maybe you said something nasty to him. Or maybe you stole his uh, beloved doll. Or <laughs> whatever, you know, you maybe you actually did something even before he hit you. But maybe he did something and then he said, yeah. Yeah, she did that, you know, and then he's like, oh, but maybe uh, he did something before you stole his doll, right? So it's like we're so into lying and these semi-lies that we just don't want to be flat out and tell the complete truth. Well, that is the story of our lives, guys. I mean, it starts at childhood, but it never ends, if you ask me. Okay. So let me talk about some of the other reasons that we lie, even as young people, children, and how they connect to those other categories of to avoid pain, uh, uh, punishment or gain favor. Wade says, preach it. Thank Yay. you, Wade. Thank you, Wade. Yes. Yes, brethren. Okay. <laughs> you lie. We lie. We all lie. Anyway, um, sometimes we lie because we want to hide what's going on in the family. I know so many people who as adults said, I never told anybody that my father was molesting me. I never told anybody that my mother was drinking. I never told anybody that, you know, these bruises on my uh, body didn't come from playing in the playground. I never told anybody, I never told anybody. And why would we, that's a lie. Those are lies. And we're already telling them as children, and we may be afraid that if we tell, we will be punished by family members. It's like, whoa, you know what happens if you uh, tell on dad, boink, or mom, boink, right? So we can be very afraid. We might be afraid of punishment, of violence. We may be afraid that we're going to push that of the family. People are going to be mad at us. We may be afraid that we're going to be embarrassed in front of other people, that they're going to know that we are from dysfunctional families. Oh, I had that one big time. Well, you mean there is anybody here who did not come from a dysfunctional family? I, I was still very afraid of being embarrassed. Oh, oh, that's serious. So that's a really good reason to start lying, James. And you know, it becomes ingrained. Oh, my lie was just not telling anybody what was going on. Exactly. It is a lie. And then we can then we we also have other kinds of lies let's say we this comes to what you were talking about earlier jamesy mm -hmm. it's like exaggeration or understatement mm -hmm. those are also lies but they have the same motivations for example <gasps> i'm so tired i just couldn't help you clean up the kitchen tonight but i'm not too tired to go you know bowling bowling or play a video game or whatever it is <laughs> right or on the other hand it's like oh yeah i may have fallen on the ice and uh, uh, sprained my leg and, and broken a few bones but i can get up there and i i, I want to keep practicing because i've got an olympics to go to right so that's the understatement and it, and it ain't nothing and it ain't nothing right just give me a shot and uh you know i'll carry on so we use these you know exaggerations and understatements but uh, there's always a reason we're still trying to gain something or we're afraid of being punished for something like oh yes uh we we don't want to be hurt uh, we don't want to be uh, see it's not just punishment well unless you think of cleaning up the kitchen as punishment i mean you just it's something uncomfortable you just don't want to do it you want to do something else so there's that too. You see, it starts getting more like dispersed. And so it's not maybe doesn't look like a lie, 
but it is a lie because it's an exaggeration because it's not the real truth the real truth could be you know I I'm kind of tired tonight and the truth is I don't feel like cleaning up the kitchen but you know then I have to find out how tired you are oh no you're more tired than I am uh, uh maybe we should share the dishes you know what I'm saying or maybe I better say that uh, yes I'm seeing stars I just had a concussion in the football game and maybe I should play you know it's like oh no no coach don't take me out of the game no exactly. this is my chance for glory exactly or you're afraid that your teammates are going to be mad because you're not there you know pulling your weight and all of that so now now let's look at business for a second isn't this kind of depressing um, how much lying there is now let's take a look at one of our favorite things which is lies in business now businesses exaggerate now they're not allowed to absolutely lie but they imply certain things or they exaggerate the value of their oops, it's right in front of your hand face of their product and they you know secretly malign the other guy they're they're lying guys they're exaggerating about themselves they're not telling you that the airbags in their cars are blowing people up or that they had discovered in tests that when you turn on the ignition the whole car is going to explode but you know, <laughs> it, it, it didn't happen often enough for us to worry after all you know we can handle the the claims right they're lying they're lying they're lying another thing that businesses do and not just businesses we see this in politics too. We use statistics deceptively. There has been a 200% increase in crime ever since the Armenians moved into our neighborhood. That means we used to have two, and now we have six? Six. Six, if you include when the kids uh, threw their dolls over the fence uh, you know the other day anyway uh, you know what I'm saying we um, we use statistics when you say oh there's a 200% now if you had a, a hundred and then it increased 200% now we're at oh I don't know is that 300 or 400 don't ask anyway I can't remember but whatever it is that's a lot of difference so statistics 300. are very very tricky because you don't know whether it's 200% of a very small amount, you know, or it's 200% of a big amount. And you don't know where you started, right? And you look at those statistics and you have to actually read them. They're lying, guys. They're lying. They have a reason. Everybody has a motive. Now, our favorite, right? Political lies. Isn't that our favorite these days? Mm -hmm. Picking what we reveal and what we don't seems like you can't trust anybody uh, and you know that people are going to only tell you what is going to bolster their side they are trying to avoid punishment mm -hmm. I didn't do that mm -hmm. I did not mm -hmm. tell the Ukraine to dig up dirt on Joe Biden right Mm -hmm. Oh yes, I did do that. No, I didn't do it. Yes, I did it. No, I didn't. This is Giuliani. You know, which, which lie is he going to? He's not the only one. You know, whether it was Richard Nixon lying through his teeth, uh, what's his face? The um, the Democrat who was in charge of the Vietnam War for LBJ. LBJ. Lyndon Johnson, Johnson. Lyndon Johnson lies, lies. Lies, lies, lies. And that statistics that were trumped up to exactly. you know, elicit the public favor right. of the war. Right, exactly. Pre uh, uh, you know, uh, in, not invasions, but bombings that never happened, or uh, the the Gulf of Tonkin okay, that didn't, that didn't even happen and got us uh, hooked into a war, the Vietnam War, or the weapons of mass destruction lie of George, Georgie Porgy. Uh, the Bush. <laughs> See, what I'm saying is, we're talking about I didn't, I didn't hit her, she hit me first, or whatever. To war, people lie, guys, and they do it either to avoid punishment or to gain favor. 
in one way or the other sometimes we get into the lying around the lying because we have to lie about our lies I'm not having an affair that wasn't me at the movies with that woman this actually happened to me I had a boyfriend and a, a friend of mine said I saw him at the movies with some other woman and I confronted him and he said that wasn't me I would never have done that I being the schnook that I was, I believed him. Lies. It was him. Oh, and lots of other things that I didn't want to believe. See, because I was lying to myself. Mm. Ooh, that's bad. Sometimes we tell lies to protect someone else, a loved one. Sometimes we tell lies to protect a political figure that we want to keep in office. Sometimes because we love that person and they've given us a good feeling about ourselves sometimes because we believe in what they're saying and believe in them and sometimes because they we want a particular policy to go through and it's completely self-serving so these lies that we're telling are to protect ourselves and our hearts or to protect our pockets see it's the gain favor you see it's not so complicated is it Lying can become so habitual that we don't even realize that we're lying anymore. Lying can become necessary because the stakes get higher and higher and higher and higher. I could tell you the story of the boyfriend who was out with this other woman who ended up marrying her. <laughs> and I didn't even know it. And he lied about wh what country he was in and where he was living and all this kind of stuff. I mean, it just got more and more insane as he had to cover up and cover up and cover up and cover up. See? So we get trapped. We get trapped. And then sometimes, has this ever happened to you? You've told the same lie so many times that you actually believe it? Mm. Right? Well, there's also the big lie technique that Hitler did, and politicians do too. If you lie often enough, people will believe it. Yes. They say, oh, that must be true. I keep hearing it. I keep hearing it. So, but I'm, I'm also, it's true, and I'm talking about what happens to us on the inside. When we keep lying, it starts to kill us on the inside. It erodes our souls. Yeah, there's a dissonance inside. Yes. So what I'd like you to do is just very quickly think about when you started lying. What you started lying about. What are you lying about today? It could be just writing something, a Facebook post that is deceptive, that makes people feel something so they either won't get angry at you or that they'll give you something you want another thing is uh, another form of lying is just minimizing a bad behavior that you're doing yes because oh it's not that bad that's well, right I'm, you know it's okay uh, i may be it may look like i'm addicted to alcohol but no i i can hold my liquor i'm doing fine etc cetera, etc cetera. Right. minimizing right right my father died at 95 and he sm uh, smoked and drank to the last day so why should I worry about it <laughs> <laughs> right so are we thinking guys we're not gonna have much time to talk about this but I do want you to be thinking and you can always put it in the comment section even after the show mm -hmm. uh, when do you remember starting to lie and what do you tend to lie about now? And I would bet you, if you're gut-wrenchingly honest, that there isn't one of us that isn't lying, exaggerating, minimizing, picking out the facts that we want to spread, trying to gain favor, trying to avoid punishment. Debbie said, hi, James and Beth, great topic, headed to work. I will watch tomorrow. We're so happy right. that you will do that. So speaking of tomorrow, 
Tomorrow is Dreams of Peace Night. Yes, it is. Thursday, 7 p.m. Pacific Time. We live stream me improvising at the piano. And I've been working on getting Facebook to work so that I can improvise at the piano and not get cut off. So it's been a lot. But I hope that we've got that problem solved. And we come it's back. It's been working very well in recent times. Once, James. Yeah. Recent time. Time <laughs> it <singer>. worked. It <laughs> worked once. Uh, we are on Grow. We'll come back and see us on Grow. Mondays and Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m. Pacific Time. Dreams of Peace, where I play the piano, is 7 o'clock Pacific Time. On we, Thursdays. On Thursdays. We love seeing you in person, uh, live, but we also love getting your comments later. Please share this video with all the liars you know, which is <laughs> everybody. You know, just everybody. And, um, <laughs> and don't lie about the reasons you're not sharing. And like and comment and all of that. And I also want to remind you that we have a program called Growth that we're having tonight, as a matter of fact, where uh, we get together and we talk about how these very topics apply to us. And I lead that meeting and I help you with my intuitive guidance to get deeper into it. And there is a charge for that. Uh, but the first time is free. No, that's not true anymore, James. Oh, it's changed. I'm sorry, I forgot oh. to tell you that. Yeah, it, it's, it was getting too logistically complicated. Oh, I so. See. Yeah. So, uh, and then uh, we also have a discussion group of my book, Living with Reality. That is a free download at my website, bethgreen.org, and that's no lie. And uh, there is a, this free discussion group every Saturday morning from 9 to 10 a.m. Pacific time. I'm not there, but there are some wonderful people who are there, and they use the book. And so, and I do intuitively guided counseling, and I'm really good. Oh, so. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, there's way more on our Facebook page. There's way more on BethGreen.org. And we are always happy to see you. And we look forward to getting your comments. And I encourage you to think about this topic. It's not just the other guy, although it is the other guy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's also us. Very tough. Okay, thank you. Okay. Bye for now. Bye-bye.